Okay, next I'm going to show you how to add them as battle, add a character as battle animations. So, um, I'm going to close my Sonic RPG and I'm going to actually open my Kingdom Hearts RPG. Let's see, here we go, Kingdom Hearts. Now, the reason I chose Kingdom Hearts is because the sprites are actually a bit bigger to work with and they're a little bit better. Alright, so if we go into the database and go over to, let's see animations here you can see that I pretty much got my characters moves and their um, status and everything that I made for RPG Maker because if you go to animations 2 and select the character you can see that and if you go to the animations 2 select your character and then go to animation type where it says pose label and then go to animation type you can check select either a character pose from the battle character set or a battle animation and choosing a battle animation may be a bit better because they look a little bit better detailed and more a little lifelike. Now the thing is that battle animation is actually a little bit more difficult to work with because, well, if you are an animator then you may know that, but in my case, I'm not really that good of an animator, but I managed to get it to work. So, to show an example of what I got here is Sora, let's see, which one's good? Sora doing a strike rate skill. Or, if you probably seen my last video, his sword doing Trinity on it. <laughs> now the thing about this is that all these skills that I made is going to be probably a long time to make. And the thing is that this skill, like Trinity Limit, is 112 frames long. Could have been longer, but I managed to do enough to make it look like it was enough. Some, and, but the thing is that most poses for adding a character is not that hard but doing skills for the character when you want them to show up that may take a while because they may take a probably at least six frames to add a character six to less I'm saying probably about three to add a character and such but I'm gonna show you how to exactly add a character and stuff as for skills it's pretty much the same process but it's gonna be even longer to do but I'm not gonna be showing about skills I'm just gonna show how to add characters Oh, excuse me. So first, find the character that you want, and I got a short sprite. I got a sword sprite sheet open, and as you can see, it has most of the sprites from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Uh, also, let's see, Sora from Kingdom Hearts Rip by Name with no credit needed, but I'm giving them credit anyway. Don't claim it's your own. Like I say, nothing is owned by me. Everything's owned by the original Rippers and the creators themselves. Credit to Square for making Sora. Credit to Nemo for making a sprite. Making a sprite sheet, of course. And now let's see. So we're gonna work with Sora in his idle stance. So right here we see Sora right here. And the idle sprites right here on the seat. Now in order to add the character, we're gonna have to go to we're gonna have to do something else besides battle character set. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to battle. And the thing is is that oops, the wrong folder. Well, let me stop you here because I got a different procedure. Now, the thing is, is that battle animations, to me, when I first started, it was difficult because I couldn't exactly adjust to using the battle animations because they were a little bit difficult and I thought I screwed up too easily. But thanks to a little help and a little help and a little bit of uh, searching on Google, I found this website called Keras.exe. I forgot what it is. It's called Keras. It's a website that you use to um, that people post most of their RPG 2003 resources or any other things RPG related. And luckily, I found a template that I could use, so that way I could easily put the characters in easier without having to worry about them being screwed up. Now, I saved the copy of it, and the thing is, is that it was a little messed up because it wasn't exactly transparent. Well, there it is. There we go. I'm gonna edit this. Yeah, here's the template that I found. I had to edit it, but I managed to make it work for the RPG Maker. Now, in order to exactly add characters f during battle animations, all you have to do is just find the spreadsheet you're working with. And get the animation right here, so... Sorry about that. And get the sprite right here, so all you gotta do is just do like the same thing you did in battle character sets and just copy it.
and just paste it onto the sheet. Now the good thing about battle animations is that you can actually have up at least the 20 frames for any animation that you have. 25, sorry. There you go. So now that you got a battle animation of Sora in his idle stance, so just save it as. Make sure you go to save as because you don't want to actually put, accidentally put save and then you'll ruin your template. So we'll just save it as Sora idle test. And this is going to the desktop. How would you make it 2003? Kingdom Hearts demo. Battle character battle. Go into the battle folder. Here I already go got a whole bunch of battle animations that I already made. So just hold on for a minute. Sword idle test. Drag that. I'm gonna put it into the battle folder. You can also put your resources in by using the resource manager if you want. But like I said, I just drag and drop. Okay. And go over to animation file. Sword idle test. There he is right there. And now you just have your frames right here. So let's see, let's count these one, two, three, four, five, six. And just six. So I'm going to adjust the frames to six. And now all you got to do is just put them onto the sheet. Here's a tip make sure that the use grid box over here is checked first. And then when you put your characters in, Make sure that their body is not exactly on the line, not on it, but somewhere like under the line right here. Because for some reason when I put them on, they were a little bit higher, so we're just going to put them below the line. Right here. Next frame, right here. Next frame, right here. Next frame, right here. Next frame, right here. Okay, now if I cycle through this, I'm going to assume, yep, that Sora will be moving around like he shouldn't be. That's because that is not exactly aligned on the battle animation sheet that we just made. But you don't have to worry about this though, because if you uncheck the use grid box, and then first look at the first frame. And then when you go to the second frame, try to find out what's wrong. If I look at it right, you see that source feet just moved down. So if I just move it up a bit and just go back to the first, it looks like it's a bit better. Then try to follow the second one with the third. He's down, so we're going to move him up. Two, three, up a little too high. Move him down a bit. Two, three. Alright, that looks good. Four. He looks like he's down and over, so we're going to move him up some more. Okay, so it looks like I'm done. Alright, so it looks like Sora's animated. Now the thing is that even though you're done with the animation like this, if you play it, he'll look like he's moving too fast. So what you'll do is that you'll just go over here to where the frame number is again, go through the list, and right click and go to insert. What we'll do is just make an extra copy of the frame that you already inserted. And that and if we just keep on doing the same thing, so two of each frame, so three, four, four, five, insert another one. Six, seven, insert another one. Eight, nine, insert another one. Ten, eleven, insert one more. And if you play it, it'll slow down. So when you're done with that, you should look like that. And go over to animations too. Find your character. So I already have my regular sword idol set, so I'm just gonna go down. And for your instance, we'll just pick the one we just made, which is sword idol again. Like I said, he'll look off screen when you look at it here, but it should look okay when you put it in the game. Crap. And that's pretty much the same on how to add a character. And then you'll just have to do the same thing for his other stances. Because right now, Sora right now has a combination of battle character sets and battle animations. Only added a few battle animations because I wanted to add a couple of voices. 
but you get the idea right now. Alright, that's how to add them with battle animations.